Hey everyone, my name is Ru and we are here. This is going to be week number one of the UBL and it's going to be really fun. We're up against a season one competitor as well, Serene Grace and her Chicago Shaman Sky. Um, she beat me last time. It was, there was a lot going on. There was a lot of like hacks and just not great things, but I think we can win this one this time. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot right now so I don't forget at all. But we will see the Tapu Bulu, Halucha, Empoleon, Alolan Muck, Cryogonal, and um, Cresselia. Okay, so huge, huge, huge point. No ditto. No ditto at all. Uh, what else? No Charizard. No Mega Charizard X. Um, what else? No Exploud. Ooh, no Exploud is huge. No Zerkatry as well. And no Aerodactyl. Okay, so she doesn't have a ground type on her entire draft, so... Choice Scarf Raichu is completely free in this matchup here. Although it doesn't really have to be Choice Scarf, I would have been better off with some other, um, with something else. But in any case, in any case, um, Rock Polish on my DNC is not going to be as huge because uh, I have enough speed for most of her team, so. I should be okay in that regard. I think I'm gonna lead off. I kind of just want to lead off with a Raichu. I kind of just want to lead off with a Raichu and click Volt Switch on whatever's out there, because no matter what, um, she's gonna have the easy switch into Tapu Bulu. So part of the reason that I'm incredibly happy that there is no Ditto is because she can't uh, essentially trace my Lightning Rod and be obnoxious from there, preventing, you know, Volt Switch or anything like that, or pretty much crippling my, my, uh, my Raichu. And leads off with Empoleon. I did kind of expect this as a lead, but I don't know if she just stays her ground and goes for the, I don't know, part of me really, really thinks she just leads off with the, or she switches into the Bulu. Uh, let's see, let's see. Part of me wants to click Toxic, expecting a Bulu to come in, but I don't know. She just messaged me saying that, uh, that her Raichu is named Sergio as well, and I'm gonna tell her that the only reason I named mine Sergio was because of that. It does switch out, does bring in the Bulu as it can Volt Switch out. Okay, so we are able to Volt Switch out. We do have the HP Poison on my um, on my Raichu, but again, I don't want to get necessarily uh, necessarily scarfed into it. So let's see here. Also, I think this is an offensive Bulu if that did as much. And I don't know, it could have been a crit or whatever, but I kind of don't think so. Let me see here. My Raichu. against a Bulu. I think that's no investment Bulu. For Volta was to do 25%. That had to be a crit. Because I'm not seeing how Volta Switch does 25%. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Um, I can go into Garchomp. I think Garchomp would be the best play. Although, going into in uh, not Infernape, um, Incineroar might be a good enough play, so I can just U-turn out. I don't think she would stay in against this after being intimidated and um, me resisting its primary stab. So I think this should be a free U-turn. I could definitely see the Halucha coming in. I could definitely see Empoleon coming in, possibly Cresselia. I don't know. Regardless, I think every time the play is to click U-turn. But yeah, she just messaged me back and said... Bruh, snipe, snipe it from me and then do that. Yeah, uh, she she was upset because uh, when I picked it, she said that it was a snipe. I think it was like a final round or two pick. So it was super late in the draft, but apparently she would have picked it if I didn't. Uh, I think she has to respect the fire coverage. I don't even know if um, Incineroar gets Poison Jab, but I don't know. I could. 
But regardless, I think she's going to respect fire coverage. I think Empoleon would be the play. I don't know. Maybe Halucha would be as well. No, just goes for the Leech Seed. So pretty much a null turn here as I'm just able to click U-turn. Yeah. Okay, that damage. Okay, so I know I'm not like invested or anything, but that damage... Might be a defensive Tapu Bulu. Might mean that it's a defensive Tapu Bulu. Let me see. Where's my Incineroar? Here we go. Yeah, U-Turn should have done quite a bit more. Maybe it's defensive to 1v1 my Scizor. Regardless, I am banded and... I am banded and... Even max defense, Bulu, uh, Bullet Punch does so much damage. Even max defense, Bullet Punch does so much damage. Maybe I can go into Scizor and click U-Turn. It could have Hidden Power Fire. Um, which would be unfortunate, but... I don't know, man. I feel like I click U-turn. Banded U-turn. Does go for the Leech Seed again. So yeah, this must be some kind of wild defensive uh, Bulu. Let's see, U-turn. 40 to 48% if this thing's like full defensive. It might just be full defensive Bulu. It might just be. Regardless, I think if there's ever a time to go for the HP poison, it would be now. She could uh, see this coming a mile away. But regardless, I think it's a play that we, that we go for. Maybe she thinks that I misclicked and went into the wrong mon. Well, we get the hidden power off. And that should be a KO. It is a KO. Okay, so getting that Bootly out of the way is going to be pretty huge. Um, however, she would have to get the Halucha in right now. She would have to get the Halucha in right now. If she wants to take advantage of the Grassy Surge, this might actually be the last turn of Grassy Surge. Um, so what that what would that mean for me? That would mean that I can go into my Incineroar, get the Intimidate drop. Uh, it would mean that I can U-turn. It can high jump kick me, which would be unfortunate, but it'd be at, at minus one at least. Unless it goes for Swords Dance right now. But we do take out the type of Bulu. And it's funny, uh, the last time I faced the type of Bulu team, uh, more or less the same thing happened where... Yeah, it does go into Halucha right away. Yeah, because this is going to be the most value you get out of the Halucha. It does get plus one defense for free. And I pretty much have to go directly into my Incineroar. Now, now we get to see if... Now we get to see if it goes for the Swords Dance right away. Possibly just goes for... Yeah, it does go for the Swords Dance right away. So I'm going to click U-Turn. And this is pretty much the situation that I knew that I would be in. That I knew that I would find myself in. So now I can click U-Turn. Uh, so let's see. Halucha goes for Swords Dance again. Now that could be bad. I don't know how well Garchomp takes a hit, but I need my Garchomp to take a hit. Uh, my Garchomp actually has Roar on it. So let's see. Halucha. At plus four. Nice Oof. At plus four, everything's a roll to take me out. Oh, wait, no, you're at plus three because of the Intimidate. Okay, I should be able to take hits at plus three. I should be able to take hits at plus three, and I should be able to just click Roar. I should be able to just click Roar. 
He goes for the Drain Punch. Even better. Even better. Barely does over half. And we will get a little bit of rough skin, but we will click Roar. And we'll get to see whatever uh, is dragged out. Goes into the Karagano, which is not ideal. That's not ideal. But the Halucha is going to be super neutralized, and my Raichu is going to be able to, to take it on, because it's never going to be able to outspeed my Scarfed Raichu. Um, I feel like I just go into Incineroar here. I feel like the play every time has to be the Incineroar. And I don't know what's going on. Imogen Heap is playing, and I need to, I need to get some hype music going on. Oh, okay, some Cuffhead music came on the shelf. All right, all right, we gotta go. We gotta vibe out with that right now. So yeah, Incineroar is always the play. Incineroar is Assault Vested and has not taken damage yet, which is kind of wild. But, um, my Incineroar can threaten it out with the fire coverage. I don't even think I have fire coverage on this Incineroar, but, uh, oh, she expected... No, she expected Diancie, which is fair enough. But I am Assault Vested. And I can freely click U-turn. Should I click knockoff? I should click knockoff. Because even if she switches out, if she goes into like Empoleon or something, um, getting a knockoff off on the on the Empoleon would be huge for the later game. Um, did I forget to bring a removal this week? I think I did. Wow, that's actually bad. I think I just straight up forgot. Go, goes for another flash cannon. I feel like this thing might be scarfed. Why would you go? This thing has to be scarfed. Did you want me to knock off the scarf? Oof. Is that a crit? No, wow. Is in fact scarfed. That damage implies that I should be able to take you out with a U-turn, potentially. That's it's so much damage. I know it's a stab knockoff, but I don't... But I didn't invest attack at all. Excuse me. And I know Kraganol's like... Uh... Defense is absolutely nothing. Let's see, where are you? Incineroar. Why did that do so much damage? Yeah, that's absolutely no bulk. But I guess, yeah, I guess knockoff just does that much. That is insane. But that definitely means that U-turn is a KO as well. So I can just click U-turn. If you have the hidden power ground, then you would go for it now. Ancient power, fair enough, fair enough. But I'm still Assault Vested, and U-Turn still takes you out. So what would I want to go into? I feel like I would want to go into the Garchomp. Would I? Yeah, Garchomp, Garchomp is pretty free right now. Its main checks, Mbulu and Cryogonal are gone. Earthquake handles everything except the Cresselia. Um... But I feel like it might be too early just because of the Cresselia. I don't want to give the Cresselia any extra turns at all. Um, actually, the play has to be uh, Raichu, I think. The play has to be Raichu. Also, I didn't have to invest a whole lot of um, speed for Scarfed Raichu, so this has so much bulk invested into it. Just just pumps so much uh, into into HP. Uh, I only hit 134 on my speed to outspeed um, Aerodactyl. However, this thing does have Scarf Toxic, so I'm gonna click that right now because that's gonna be 100% necessary right now. And I feel like, I feel like Cresselia sets up a sub. I feel like Cresselia sets up a sub right now. Regardless, um, Incineroar seems like a decent switch in, especially after this thing is toxic, but something on it, on their squad is getting toxic, unless she switches in Empoleon or Muck right now. But yeah, get the toxic off. Um, this whole Raichu set is Choice Scarf with what, what do you go for? Calm mind. Uh, this whole Raichu set is Scarf with Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Toxic, and Hidden Power Poison. That's the entire set. So now, I can probably go into... 
Maybe I maybe the play is going to Garchomp and click Roar. No, because it, this thing probably has Ice Beam and uh, Roar is negative priority, obviously. Maybe the play would be to oh, and I didn't pack Dragon Tail onto my onto my my Lodic. I think the play every time has to be to go into my my uh, Incineroar, and my Incineroar can now pretty freely spam knockoff. I can pretty freely spam. No, just goes for the straight withdrawal. That's interesting. Goes into the Empoleon. Could set up rocks with the Empoleon now. Could set up rocks with the Empoleon now, but that would be a pretty free. Even if you do Scald, again, I'm a self vested. I'm confident enough that I could take hits. Uh, let me think. Uh, let me think here. Incineroar against Empoleon. I need to know if it's worth it to stay in because, uh, yeah, by the looks of it, unless this thing's like max defense, then yeah, Earthquake should be a 2 KO. Yeah. I don't want to give this thing up too quickly because Sword Stance. Wow. Wow. Well. And it's probably Defiant too, so I could have given it really free setup with Intimidate, potentially. But no, I have to go into my Lodic. My Lodic checks this thing hard. I'm a Flame Orb, my Lodic. Uh, can't be toxic. As long as I take the first hit, I can get the Flame Orb up. I can recover up. I should be able to wall this thing as pretty much as much as one can. Let's go for the Aqua Jet. So yeah, so yeah this is probably like some crazy Defiant set. Uh, with Swords Dance, that's wild. When I ran Empoleon, I never had the balls for, for Swords Dance and Empoleon, so hats off to her. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But now Scald is super free. Yeah, Scald is super free. I should just click Scald. Does go for the Drill Pack. Oh my god, I love it. I am so in love with this set. I love it so much. I mean, a burn would be neat, but, you know, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to be as safe as possible and click recover. I'm very curious as to what her item is. Probably, maybe Wakan. Wakan would make sense to me. As I recover. So if I didn't recover, then a plus four drill pack would have uh, been pretty bad. But no matter what happens to my Milotic, um, I do have the Raichu to come in and revenge. So... I should be okay. He goes for the knockoff. That does quite a bit of damage. As I can go for the Scald. Doesn't do quite enough. A burn would be neat. Okay. I think that's going to do it for Empoleon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 That would have been pretty bad if I did. Uh, if I did let that Empoleon go on for another turn. Probably would have taken out my 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 Lodic with a drill pack, so that's pretty unfortunate, but it could just be a differential thing. I don't think it'll be too too big for the overall uh state of the match. But it is definitely unfortunate. It is definitely definitely unfortunate. Um oh these are all these are all uh These are all Game of Thrones based. I'm going to just click recover. I feel like Garchomp is pretty free at this point. Actually, Bandit Scizor is also pretty darn free as well. Goes for the curse. So it's trying to set up curses as well on me. I think. So here's the thing. I think she's going to set up another curse, like no matter what. So I think the play would just be to go hard into Garchomp right now. And if I have to give up Garchomp to deal like half damage to this muck, then that's what has to happen. But from that point, I think 
I think Bandit Scizor should be able to clean up. I think I should be okay. Goes for another curse. So I am really curious as to uh, what I do against a muck. An Alolan muck. Against my Garchomp. I am a very defensive Garchomp as well. So I'm just going to give this thing plus two. I think I should be out of range of whatever this thing wants to go for. It's iffy whether or not I'm out of range. Knockoff has a chance at plus two. But Earthquake at plus two defense. I think we also have to assume max HP. I should be doing a right around half, just under half. Or just I could just click Roar as well. I could also just click Roar. I think that'd be the better play for the longer run. I'm gonna click Roar. We do take that. Okay, that's that's pretty much a relief that we do take that. But we are a bit of click roar. This thing does come in. Probably has ice beam, and I can't touch this thing anyway. Uh, my entire set is uh, earthquake, poison jab, roar, and uh, something. What is it? Stealth rock. Never got to set up Brock, so that's unfortunate. But I feel like the play might be to just go into Diancie. Diancie is a definite possibility. Although I am really, really tempted to go into uh, to go into Scizor. I'm going to pull the trigger and just go into Diancie. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This Cresselia might have Hidden Power Steel. I didn't think about that until just now. But uh, regardless, I think we just deal with it. I think the play is to deal with it. Um, so here I got to reveal basically what this Diancie is. I'm going to just click... Mega Evolve and Rock Polish. This is a decently um, HP invested uh, 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 Diancie. And uh, uh, with Rock Polish, it would have outsped most of our team, but now. We do outspeed our team. Unfortunately, Halucha still makes the rock polish necessary. I guess maybe it didn't. No, high jump kick still destroys me, so it, it was necessary. Um, but Cresselia is getting chipped down. I don't know what type of Cresselia this is going to be, but... We'll be able to tell from this Moonblast. If it... If it does around 30-ish percent, then it's definitely specially defensive. And I guess we just see. I guess we just see. Okay, it is physically defensive and the special attack drop, which is unfortunate, but again, I don't think it was ever going to be a huge, huge effect on the... I do get the special attack drop as well. Okay, so fair enough. Fair enough. I probably deserve that. But regardless, Toxic? Yeah, Toxic brings brings this Cresselia well in range. And I can just click Moonblast. So that's super unfortunate. Unfortunately, my Rock Polish... Well, okay, so my Rock Polish might not matter because it can still Moonblast the Halucha, which should... Oko, Earth Power is going to be iffy, but as long as Earth Power is still a 2 KO onto the Muck, then I guess it doesn't matter, theoretically? It also depends on whether or not I take a hit from the Alolan Muck as well. Um, regardless, I like my chances in this battle so far. So let's see. Let's put in a Muck here. I didn't get any information from the last time this muck was in here, other than it's probably max HP, so I should probably at least give it max HP. I do have Earth Power just for this, but Earth Power is not doing barely anything. Well, this assumes a max special defense, pretty much, uh, muck, which I don't know if we can assume. But regardless, I'm just going to click Earth Power. Again, I have to remember that I'm at minus one. Uh, still, still looking like a 2 KO. 
as gets the figgy berry, which is fair enough. So now we get to see if this is curse uh, recycle. But I am still at minus one. Uh, wait, I don't even think this thing's max HP. That's kind of wild. I just click Earth Power again. And we have to take a hit of plus one. Does go for the recycle. So that puts me in a not great situation. It does look like a neutral Earth Power would take you out. I don't know. I feel like I should switch out right now. I'm going to try to switch out into... Into, uh... Scizor here. Does go for another curse. I am banded... I am banded, uh... Banded bullet punch. However, you have that fire punch, right? Recycle, curse, fire punch, poison jab? No, he had knockoff. Would you have knockoff? Knockoff, poison jab? Just pretty much the wall by Scizor special, I guess? I don't even know. I don't even know. I feel like I should click U turn to scout. Uh, I guess I'm giving giving her the figgy again for free, but it is what it is at this point. If I see the knockoff here, then that's a hundred percent. That's a hundred percent. Um, not no fire punch, which means again it gets walled by Scizor. At this point. Uh, yeah, it does go for the knockoff. Do we take this at plus two without an item? Okay, cool. We take that. And now an Earth Power does a whole bunch more damage. I'm not trying to, like, preserve a 6 or anything. I'm just trying to, like, play this out as best as I can. It does click Recycle. But we did do about 50-ish percent. So I think we're doing about the same amount of damage as, uh, Muck is getting back with Recycle. And uh, she is inviting a special defense drop if she does continue to go for a cycle, I guess. She has to take me out, and if she takes me out, then um, Raichu should actually win the game from here, just spamming Thunderbolts. Yeah, that's a bit of a high roll. Let's go for a recycle again, but again, this is not... Maybe she's waiting for me to switch out? This is inviting a crit. This is inviting a special defense drop. I don't know, man. It looks like another Earth Power is going to be right around a roll to take out this muck. And if that's the case, then... Yeah, that, that does it. That does it right there. And now the Halucha is in a position where uh, it can't really sword stands. I believe, sword, I believe Halucha is the final Mon on the field, and... Halucha is not going to be in a position where it can just go for a sword stance because because uh, I can just moon blast into it. So if I really wanted to preserve the 6-0, I would go into. I mean, I might just go into uh, into Scizor. Does Bandit Scizor Oko? Bullet Punch potentially Oko's, um... Bullet Punch potentially Oko's... Uh, with that little bit of chip damage that's already there. And, I don't know. I don't want to be the guy that preserves a 6-0 for no real reason, but... It goes for the Iron Head. Interesting. Interesting. Um, but... I don't know, man. I feel like I just have to make the plays right now. The bullet punch will miss out on the Oko, but uh, regardless, as long as this doesn't take me out, I think, yeah. 
Another bullet punch should just about do it. And uh, that's gonna be week one, I believe. Unless there's something else that goes awry here. That's gonna be GG. That was a fantastic match against. Again, uh, she beat me last time. Uh, it was a pretty rough match with all of my paralysis on my Tauros and just paralysis all around. It was a wild match, but we do come back. We start off the UBL with a win, a pretty decent win, if I do say so myself, and uh, that's going to be it. I'm really excited about the UBL in general, um, but with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again really, really soon with more UBL matches. Um, I believe the final week of the PGBL should be coming up really, really soon, and uh, weeks of the Saffron Battle Network, possibly, and uh, more weeks of the MPL Miners. So plenty of stuff, plenty of stuff to come in the future, but with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be once again out.